What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to add isolated foundations with two piles and four piles to the entry level of the structure. So the pile caps are placed on grid locations and they will be directly supporting the existing structural columns. Okay, so let's do this. So let's have a look in the 3D view. So this is how it looks like. So from our previous video, we created our uh, slab foundation. All right, so let's start now adding isolated foundation. Okay, so I'm going to do that, of course, on 0, 1 entry level. So to start, so let's go to the structure tab. And then let's select here isolated. So let's click that one. So we'll be using two pile pile cap. So I'm going to use pile cap to, uh, to pile 31 inches by 71 inches by 35 inches. So let's click that one. Okay. And then after that, here's now my pile cap. So by the way, if you're going to press the space bar, you, you can see that our model or the pile cap rotates 90 degrees right every time you press the space bar okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to place one here so just like that so in this um exercise so there is no exact placement so the exact placement is not that critical for this exercise so you can use the arrow on your keyboard if you want to nudge left and right up and down your pile cap Okay, so let me select the isolated. So make sure that is pile cap to pile. So I will be putting that one here. Okay, so let's click there, here. All right. Okay, so let's click. Click, and that's it. All right, and then select here, modify. So as you can see, when you selected your isolated, uh, foundation so there's an option here at grids or at columns so you can also use this option so let's say i'm going to select at grids okay so i'm gonna select that one all right and then we will be selecting the grid so let's say i want my foundation to be placed at this grid here so i'm going to pick this and then i'm going to hold the control button and then click this grid here that one that one and let's say this one as well hold control again hold control release control and then pan your drawing here this one this one this one here and then this one now the problem here is we need to rotate it so i'm going to finish okay and then modify and then we are going to select this okay so this is very tedious job so you need to select it really one by one or you can use a selection window and then filter and then uh, let's select here structural foundation okay and then it's now selected so you can press the space bar and there you go okay so i wasn't able to place one here so maybe i'm just gonna select this and then copy pick pick here just like that and then let's check that one out in 3d view and there you go all right okay but for this one i'm just going to do that manually so let's select again the isolated making sure that two pile is selected so i'm gonna place here all right so i'm just going to pick one by one just like that it's it's your preference so you can use add columns or add grids so it's up to you or you can just do like this select and then I, i'm i'm also going to show you how to uh, use the copy tool all right so just like that so let's say i want that to be copied here 
at the top portion okay of my let's say grid h all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to select this one hold control to select the other pile caps oops you can hold the shift button and then click the element if you want that to be deselected okay and then you can hold control again to add the element to the selection so hold control hold control okay and then after you select the objects that you want to copy so you can now select copy and then you can constrain that so that the movement is vertical or horizontal only so it's like ortho in AutoCAD and then after that you can now uh, pick the base point okay so you can now pick the base point so let's say this is my base point so I'm going to place it here and there you go and then I just select here modify to terminate the tool okay so I'm going to place a pile cap here too so I'm going to select this, right click, let's create a similar, create similar. And then for this one, I'm going to press space bar. Okay, and then I'm just going to place it here. So at the center line of this wall, so I'll just put one here. And then another one here. And another one here. And another one here. So that's the southeast. So I'm going to put this well on my northeast. That one, that one. Okay, and another one here. And here. Okay. So I also want to put here. Do that. Place. This one and here too. All right. And these are the two pile cap. Okay, so now the next thing that we will be doing is we're going to use another type of isolated foundation. So we use the two pile cap. And then this time we're going to use the four pile. 79 inches by 79 inches by 35 inches so i'm going to select this one all right and then i'm going to place it here there you go okay so another option is you can use the copy tool so i'm going to select modify here to terminate the tool and then i'm going to select this i'm going to use the copy tool and I'm going to pick the center line of the column as my base point and then I'll start copying it's like that so you can use copy let's place one here okay if you want to move to different direction again you can uncheck constraint here so you can move different direction okay so I'll just copy one here other one here uh, this one this one okay copy just like that and I want one here as well this column okay almost there right and then i'm going to select here modify to terminate the tool and then i'll just select this hold control hold control hold control hold control click hold control click all right because i'm going to copy that so copy pick the base point 
and then let's speak here there you go all right so that's it so let's have a look on the 3d view so let's click the 3d so as you can see our pile cap is overlapping our foundation so what we are going to do here is we're going to change the offset okay so i'm going to select all the elements and then i'll select here filter and then check none and then i only want to select the structural foundation and then okay and then after that so we are going to change the height offset from level i'm gonna make that 18 inches below okay so i'm gonna type minus one foot and six inches all right and then i'll select here apply and that's it so let's check that one out in the 3d view and there you go so it's not overlapping anymore our slab foundation because it's now offset below uh, minus 18 inches okay so that's it for this exercise so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day